to create a curved or concave roof make sure you've got the roof tool selected and up in the geometry method section of the info palette we're going to left mouse click on that and select the barrel vault icon so first of all I click where I want the roof to start and then I'm just going to leave this on the default setting at the moment but you can define the curve a number of different ways and I'm just going to click the second time out here and this is a white pencil so we can tell we're halfway through a function and then to complete the curve I double click and then the pencil is still white which means I'm still in the middle of a function and there are three lines and the idea is to get the center line or the middle line or line number two perpendicular to the way we want the roof to to actually go so if I hold the shift key down although you've got smart guides here they do a perfectly good job I'm, go I'm going to go to the opposite side of the slab click once and drag back across the building once I click again this palette comes up and here we have our pitching height and the roof thickness and the treatment of the end of the roof so I'm just going to leave that all OK click OK so there's our roof if I click on our 3D window we can see what I've just created now if I do the same thing double click there and start this side and drag back in the opposite direction and just accept it we will see that it creates a concave roof so I find it always safer to I'm just going to undo that undo that I always find it safer to draw a roof and go to the opposite end of the slab and drag back across the slab and then accept it and then your roof should be going the right way we can also create more complex roof forms by not finishing that process so quickly I'll show you what I mean just going to delete that roof at the moment this time I'm going to create a roof over the long longer side of this slab so if I left mouse click once in the previous example I double clicked after defining one curve but this time I'm only going to click once and continue with the definition of curves I can also change it I might just change it to a straight line there but when I want to finish off the profile I double click at that point then the lines come out from the roof contour and I'm going to the other side of the slab and drag back over the slab once I push OK we can see if I go to the 3D window we can see there's a much more complex profile there another way we can use this same tool is if I delete all that and for example if I had a wall on this side that may be I'll draw them both in floor plan and over here the height of this wall if I made this one meter and if I open this section elevation line we can see the cross section now if I go to the 2D line tool maybe the spline tool and and drew something that joined those two walls now if I select that spline and go control C or Apple C copy it to the floor plan just paste it and drag that to there rotate it holding the shift key down once my lines in the correct position I go to my roof tool make sure I'm on the barrel vaulted roof hold my spacebar down left mouse click on it and then drag over the building click on the opposite side let the shift key go drag back across the building 
and over here need to change this to one meter which is the height of the lower wall push OK now if I push 3D window we can see we've got a fairly complex profile just by copying and pasting 2D lines from the section elevation window we can also draw curved roofs in the 3D window so if I just select all the roofs clicking on the roof control A delete I'm just going to make these two roofs identical in height so I'm just going to click on that icon drag that up so there's a tick there click so I've got two three meter walls now if I click on the roof tool make sure I'm on the barrel vault I can left mouse click there left mouse click on the opposite wall make sure the pencil's black and then I have a number of options I can create a complex roof just a gable roof and a curved or vaulted roof I'm just going to use the vaulted roof option in the moment and then once I've drawn that I can drag that out and as I click on the black pencil on the other side of the wall there we also have a curved roof that's made in 3D.